sunrise waking my day you are the moonlight shining my way this is where i call home you are connor i knew early on that you were my person they say when you meet the love of your life you just know and with you i felt that it was a sense of security a state of calmness and an overwhelming feeling of happiness. You are and always will be my person. I know you're my person because being with you makes life easier. This next phase of life brings me the most excitement because being your wife is something I've looked forward to since the very beginning. Fast forward. 2,471 days oh <laughs> and we're getting married from our first ice cream date to our first trip together from buying our first home and getting engaged and married I would not change a damn thing today you are my wife <laughs> but we'll be soulmates forever <laughs> My wife, I vow to always be true to you and our love. I vow to respect, protect, and trust you. I vow to be by your side every single day and love you unconditionally for the rest of our days. I vow to put you first and love you always through the good time and the bad. You are the one, my person. You are the person that I want to fall asleep next to watching Family Feud every night for the rest of my life. I love you. Jordan Olivia Lynn, do you take counter John McCune to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part? I not only found my husband, I found my best friend, the father to my future kids, my protector and my biggest supporter. I found my person. As we become husband and wife, I vow to support you and cheer you on in all your decisions. I vow to be honest, loving, and thoughtful. I vow to have your back in all future phases of life. I vow to continue to be proud of you and who you are. I vow to always make life fun and to never stop laughing. I vow to be the best mom to our future kids, and I vow to never stop cheersing before each dinner. And most importantly, I vow to love you always. Here's to forever. somewhere with peace of mind. No matter where we end up, it's always gonna feel like home. The bond that you and Connor share is truly special. And it's clear that your love is built on a strong foundation of mutual respect and understanding. Love is not about finding the right person, but also about being the right partner. I wish you both a lifetime filled with joy, laughter, and endless love. Congratulations on your beautiful day.
Connor, John McCune, do you take Jordan Olivia Lynn to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, richer and poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish until death do you part? We do. By the power vested in me by the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. It is my honor to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Connor and Jordan McCune. Um, one of the first impressions we had of Connor, which was, it, it was similar to what Kenny talked about earlier, which was the first date. And as a dad, when, when your daughter is asked to go for a walk in the woods with a stranger, it's a, it's a little unnerving. So congratulations to you both. Breathe, breathe in the air. Don't be afraid to care. Leave, but don't leave me. Look around, choose your own ground. Long you live and high you fly. Smiles you'll give and tears you'll cry. And all you touch and all you see is all your life will ever be. So hopefully you guys take something away from that. I appreciate again everyone being here and cheers to Jordan and Connor and a wonderful, long, happy night. One, two, three. Past school so consequently is coming so naturally. And so A is for all that you've done for me. Being with you's the only place I wanna be. Seeing you's the only thing I wanna see. Cause loving you is easy. One, cause you're the only one for me. Two is you and I, and I hope you agree. Three is for the words that you're making me speak. As I stand here tonight, I can't believe my little sister is now a beautiful grown woman and is married. Time truly has flown by. I feel like just yesterday I was yelling at you for stealing my clothes and making you sign a contract for not returning my stuff in a timely manner. Things really have changed because now you are my person. You'll always be my person. The person who can cheer me up on a crappy day and share a different perspective. The person who witnessed the birth of my second child. The person who would drop anything to support my kids. You have impacted my life in more ways than you know. I'm so proud of you. Sorry. And the life that you and Connor have built together. I love you guys. Congratulations. Cheers. Jordan, thank you for being my closet, our jam sessions to High School Musical and Pretty Girl Rock. So congrats you two. I hope nothing but the best and I can't wait to see your love continue to grow as you guys live this life together. And as Jordan would say, it's giving, they're officially married. Congrats. You guys have done a wonderful job bringing this wedding together. We all appreciate it. All the hard work, we all see it. You guys have done a wonderful job. Put a drink in the air for Connor and Jordan.